Okay, so let's try this. What you'd want to do first is figure out what kind of acid it is. It is, anybody? Strong or weak? It's a weak acid. So for a weak acid, you're going to use the ice table. You just can't get around it. So let's write out the normal reaction. Uh, CO3 plus H2O. This is a general equation for an acid. It goes to HCO3 minus plus H3O plus. And this would have some Ka1 associated with it. And from wherever, Wikipedia, your textbook, etc. Um, this is 4.4 times 10 to the minus 7. Okay. So to find equilibrium concentrations and or pH, you have to do the ice table. Now you should be able to... If you were given this, you should be able to recognize that's a Ka1 sort of reaction because uh, we have the full neutral polyproduct and it has lost a proton. So that's a Ka1. The next loss of proton would be Ka2, but we won't get to that one quite yet. So you just put 4.0 here, ignore water, 0, 0. Uh, the unfavored side is the right hand side. It's got a 0 on it, so we don't need to do any special stoichiometry. Or the, uh, yeah, the unfavorite side is the right-hand side. So you go minus x, plus x, plus x. So the plus is on the side with the zero. It has to shift right. Four minus x, x, x. So you go Ka1, which is 4.4 times 10 to the minus 7, equals x squared over 4 minus x. And then what you're going to say is x is small. Okay, so x is a lot, lot less than 4. That drops out the x, and so then uh, basically drops out the x in the numer uh, denominator. This is going to be the square root of 4 times 4.4 times 10 to the minus 7. Okay, in order to continue, we need that number. Yeah, I'll show you. Okay, so this is going to be equal to the H3O plus concentration and the HCO3 minus concentration. So it's uh, 1.33 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay. That's going to be a molarity. So cool. Now we have uh, that equilibrium concentration. So that's a good start for us. Uh, so we've got those two concentrations. We can find the pH right now because we know H3O plus. pH is equal to negative log of the H3O plus concentration, which is equal to uh, uh, negative log of 1.3 times 10 to the minus 3. And that's 2.88. And that makes a lot of sense. It's less than 7, 2.88. So it's acidic is what we expected. So that's the first part. That's the hardest part of the problem. The next part of the problem is to restart, you don't need the ice table anymore. Rewrite this equation now for the second loss of the proton. So you start with HCO3. If you, so you do the reaction, the neutralization for HCO3 now. Right? HCO3 minus. Yeah, yeah, okay. And this will be a Ka2, and I can look up that number. Carbonic acid, 4.7 times 10 to the minus 11. Okay. So this one you should also be able to recognize. You see, okay, even if you saw this from scratch, you didn't see anything else yet. You see, okay, and this is what we started off with today. You see that, and you're thinking, okay, that came from a polyprotic acid, because it could have another proton. Okay, that's what I mean. And so now, you're losing the second one, so it's totally bare right now. Okay, so this must be Ka2. Even if it was reversed, you should be able to recognize this kind of reaction. And it's, you know that it came from a polyprotic acid has a minus? Yeah, yeah, this is, well, I would see this, I would say, oh, this is from H2CO3, before I lost the proton, that's a polyprotic, it's even one I've seen before, 
So yeah, this is the second time I lost a proton now. And it could be the third or the fourth or whatever. Okay, so in this case, you no longer need the ice table. You just go straight to your K expression, and here's why. Ka2 is equal to the CO3 2 minus, oops, 2 minus times the H3O plus over the HCO3 minus, I don't need water because it's a liquid in this case. The nice thing now, you know all these numbers. So you know uh, Ka2, that's 4.7 times 10 to the minus 11. Uh, you also know uh, these two. You know uh, this one and this one. They happen to be the same, so they're both going to cancel. And so the last concentration that you have yet to find is the CO3 to minus concentration, which will equal K2. And that's always going to be true. It wouldn't be true, say, in a common ion, but in a typical problem it would be true where the second loss of the proton will equal Ka2. So the concentration of species that has just lost two protons is equal to Ka2. Yeah?